Hi again, I'm your station manager, Mike Lindsay, and we're going to be talking about pots. But not this kind of pot. Or this kind of pot either. This pot either. But this is the pot we're going to be talking about. It's called a potentiometer. Potentiometer. Can you say potentiometer? Nice try. But for short, we just call it pot. The KRJC board, where all turntables, cart machines, and tape recorders are selected and mixed using the switches and knobs you see before you. Before audio can be mixed for airing, the inputs to the board have to be selected through one of these color-coded switches called keys. Watch for the color-coded black to black and green to green and back again for green to green. The only exception to this color-coded key and pot system is the black remote pot on the end. The selector for audio input to this pot is by means of this selector knob. This small pot that controls cart machine number one also has a selector input from the patch bay, which will be discussed later. These two switches, which are called the line-out switches, should always be in the upright position. And the submaster pots should always be in the 12 o'clock position or pointing to the two tens. And the master switch should always be wide open or pointing to the 20. Before broadcasting, the board must be turned on using this power switch. Very simple and very easy. The modulation meter, also known as the VU or volume unit meter, must be observed constantly to ensure that all audio goes out at the proper level. Under no circumstances should the VU meter register in the mud, or low levels such as this, nor should it register constantly in the red such as this. Not only is this illegal under FCC definition, but it will also distort the sound over modulation and possibly damage the meter movement. Let's now look at how. Three approved methods of record queuing that can be used by KRJC announcers. The first one is by putting the turntable in neutral and in the queue and putting the needle on top of the record and spinning the turntable. When you get the desired sound, you put it in program. The second method is only to be used when there's good felt on the turntable. You can finger cue the records like this. And putting it into gauge and putting it into program. The third and final method is the slip start, which is done like this. Now that you have mastered the selector keys, pot keys, the potentiometers, the remote pot, the line out keys, you are now ready to put your program on the air by turning the transmitter switch and the student center switch. Hope you have enjoyed our brief introduction of how to operate KRJC and we'd like to remind you to keep in mind the color-coded selector keys, pots and remote pots, the VU meter and their proper levels, the line-out switch and submaster pot, and how to record queue. And later on we'll be discussing 
um, flip starts, segues, crossfades, and dead pots. And how to operate your line out switches with the transmitter and the student center. So long and goodbye.